Hey, welcome to the Morning Mix After Show. I saw this interesting article and I thought we could all weigh in on our favorite. Barbie, the movie, of course, has uh, eclipsed a billion dollars at the box office. And now it's part of what they're calling the Billion Dollar Movie Club. Oh. Yeah, right? So in this club are a number of movies. And so they've adjusted for inflation on these and stuff like that. And they say, well, when you do that, there's 53 movies that have made a billion plus dollars. Two of them are like in Despicable Me. Two of them are Transformers movies. There's four live action Disney remakes like Aladdin. There's four Jurassic Parks in that club. There's five Star Wars movies in that club. 11 of them were made by Marvel. It's crazy, right? Mm -hmm. But they've whittled it down in this article by The Guardian to what they believe are the best of the best of the billion dollar club. Okay. So I thought I would rattle off these ones and then we got to pick from this list which one we think is our favorite individually, right? Okay. So Barbie, Titanic, The Dark Knight, Avengers Infinity War, Toy Story 3, Mm. Jurassic Park. Which ones of that list do you guys like the best, Nikki? Man. Titanic, Dark Knight, Avengers Infinity War, Toy Story 3, Jurassic Park. That's really hard. It's a tough list, right? Um, I, you know, I hate to say this, but I'm going to go with Titanic because I just watched it again and yeah. it still holds up. As I always say, draw me like one of your French girls. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Whip. Uh, I'm going to go with Avengers Infinity War. Okay. Because I, it's one of those that I only saw because it was like a thing you had to see. Like it a was, cultural moment It was something? the biggest at the time. Maybe yeah. it's whatever. It, but it was that thing for that time. And I was like, I'm going to be confused. I am confused. There's a lot to understand. And, and, and yet it still got me. Okay. Yeah. V? I got to go Titanic too, just because it's like an original. I feel like yeah. it just is so cool that like nothing else seems as cool as that. Yeah, it did break. Like at the time, it was almost impossible that they made it. I remember mm-hmm. thinking, "Whoa!" And mm-hmm. it's got that reality with the movie. Yeah, to it. yeah. You know, and when and they use the conspiracy theories about the Titanic too, which I'm use, obsessed yeah. with watching now on YouTube. The yeah. footage and stuff. It's just interesting. Uh, this one's easy for me. Dark Knight. I'm gonna go Dark Knight <laughs> really? for sure. 100%. You watch that like on a weekly basis, don't you? I do. Well, I do rewatch the Batman trilogy like probably once a year. I also rewatch the Lord of the Rings trilogy like once a year. All the Harry Potters once a year. Okay, now yeah. don't hate me. Dark Knight is that the one with Liam Ne. Niels, Neeson? Uh, t- he's in it for a moment, but it's Heath Ledger as the Joker. That's oh, the Dark that, Knight. Oh, that, right, wait, wait. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. So, I'm thinking of the Christian, wait, Christian Bale. Yeah, okay, no, you're right. A, so he's in the second one he, then. He, Liam Neeson's in the first one. He's Ra's al Ghul in Batman Begins. Yes. And then he returns in a dream in um, okay. in all of them. Yeah, yeah, this but, is the Heath Ledger one. So this idea. is the middle of the three, the, yep. of the, the two that they shot in Chicago Begins, Dark Knight, and then they did uh, Dark Knight uh, Rises in Pittsburgh. Which it's, one did, uh, which one is Katie Holmes in? She's in Batman Begins. Okay. Yep, and then they swapped her with uh, uh, Jake Gyllenhaal's sister. Like, which right. which uh, uh, which Batman is this? I like uh, I like Katie Holmes. Yeah, <laughs> nothing wrong there. I saw that on the IMAX. Yeah, uh, mostly because of her. You know, she was uh, dating uh, Jamie Foxx for like five or six years. Behind nobody really knew about it. What whole secret there? relationship. What happened there? Don't know, but now they're saying that Jamie's trying to get her back. Okay. You know, well, he had this whole big health scare, and now he's trying to get back right. to the. To the one sounds like a movie in which mm-hmm. you had uh, your life basically like a flash before your eyes as yeah. you're on death's door. Like uh, I'm gonna go back and fix my mistakes, and yeah. then maybe he considered uh, losing her a mistake. Coming then this Tom fall, Tom Cruise came in and said, "Watch it, buddy." Well, before you said Tom Cruise, I was gonna say coming to Lifetime, but now it's way more expensive. So I don't know. Yeah, well, because yeah. he was Katie Holmes's uh, whatever, That's right? right? So, he was I mean, the guy. He's yeah, got to have some some movies on that list further down for sure. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Oh, without a doubt. Yeah. Wait, what came first, Surrey on our phone or Surrey Cruise? Oh, well, Surrey S U R I Surrey Cruise was first, oh, and then Surrey on right. the phone S I R I. Yeah, so slightly different, but close enough. But yeah, Surrey was like no one knew what that was when they named her that. Like, where that? And what is it? Still, we don't know. Oh, Tom doesn't know either. I don't think he talks to her. So right. hard it's, to say. It's some, oh, he doesn't talk to the daughter either. Not that I know of. I think he offers money, and <laughs> okay. David well, Miscavige says, "You stay over here, to, Tom." He's got a lot to offer. He does. He sure does. Yeah, he's I impossible. That happening. Guy. <laughs> this is what this is for. This is what the after show's all about, baby. <laughs> Nikki, you're such an idiot. This is what this is <laughs> yes, for. <isn't> Sorry, <laughs> my bad. Now, how dare you question the I'm morning mix after watch show? The Dark night. Sun, the first one, Katie With Holmes, Siri Cruz. Ledger. I don't All right, know. here are the morning mix weekdays, 530 to 10 on 101.9 The Mix, or listen with our free mix app that's in the Apple App Store and Google Play. And we'll see you tomorrow, Surrey Cruz, on the morning mix.